Well, Miss uh, um, Ortega. Yes. The fat lady is about to sing again. <laughs> you presented your list of candidates. Your comments. Well, first I'm going to say again a prosperous new year to everyone. Um, unfortunately, we were given the opportunity once again to come and try to represent the people. And indeed, the fat lady is not singing. I think she's crying about now. Crying that, um, yeah, we're standing here. I always wanted to be inside of the parliament building to give a speech like I did not too long ago. But I never thought it was being because of another election being called and being held within the two-year mark. Snap election, snap election is no longer the case. This is a norm election. And for once and for all, political maturity does not come with political seniority. We need to come with a proper change for St. Martin. True reform, all of those status quo that we are referring to have been there for so long, have been governed, given the opportunity after la the last 2016 election to come with political reform, which we all said that was much needed. But yet we are here again because nothing was done. There's only one way to do it, the right way, gray all the way. Thank you. Um, having said that, now a list of how many candidates were presented or was presented. You know, I always say we get, have to keep it manageable. We are the small party. We are the David, but we will defeat the Goliath. We are only, and I say only for a good reason, five candidates strong, including myself. But each candidate has political maturity, political seniority, and political legitimacy backing them. We might have five candidates, but we have a lot more, a lot more ambassadors, more than the 23 that maybe others will present here today. What about your slogan for this year's election? Our slogan last year for 2016 election was the status quo got to go. In a sense, we'll be back on the same track, the same reason, and everything the same as the 2016 election, we are saying the status quo still got to go. Am I right, gentlemen? Yes. Yes. Well, our, our list remained practically the same. We added uh, a few more candidates and our message it will be the same, uh, focus will be the same, uh, the principles that we ran on last time of honesty, integrity, accountability, those are the ones that we will again be advocating and of course uh, there's a change a uh, shift in in focus too because of Irma you know um, now we have to look a lot at the construct reconstruction and building back St. Martin but we believe that uh, together with the people uh, we can get there and we can rebuild St. Martin to be better stronger bigger your list comprises of how many persons? We have uh, 12 persons on the list and um, a variety of backgrounds and we believe that uh, this would be able to, to help St. Martin as we look at different areas uh, that need change, different areas that need development, that uh, we can provide the necessary experience and expertise to help to build back St. Martin. You spoke of integrity, accountability, and what have you, Pastor. But going into the February 26th election, under what slogan will that be taking place? Under the slogan, our slogan remained the same, uh, serving you, the people, for a change. Uh, we're about the people and uh, not about self. We want to make sure that whatever we do, will be in the benefit of the people of St. Martin. What's your election day? Campaign starts right now. What do you tell to voters at this time? We, uh, to all the voters right now, in order to be able to get to the election point, uh, we're going to be need, need to be endorsed. 
so our list will be available on Monday the, the 8th of January and if we need to get 142 persons to endorse that list so that we can move on and be registered as a party to take part in the electoral process. So my plea to our voters would be, you know, don't wait until February the 26th to vote, but come out and endorse the St. Martin Christian Party on Monday so that we can move ahead into the electoral process. Good afternoon. We have recorded that Mr. Cedric James Zero one of the representatives of the National Alliance to the Central Voting Bureau. And as such, you are authorized to submit the list of candidates of the National Alliance. What the show? What's some show today for Constellation Day? Your place. Yes, um, in a special moment. It's, of course, my first Constellation as leader. Um, it will be a very um, important election, a very serious election. And especially during these difficult times, I mean, I would really like to appeal to our parties to remember the times we are in. Um, the important thing is to get our messages out there to the public. Um, we as a National Alliance are ready to, to spread our word, to get it out to all avenues, and to ensure the people that we will continue the hard work that we have been doing over the past two years. We have had a majority in government um, over the past two years, and I think we have done an excellent, excellent job. No one could have predicted the severity of that hurricane, and it is a shame that others used it to be able to throw us out of government. But we all see where that has led, and they have not been successful in what they have been trying to do, because up to now they are not in. As a matter of fact, I believe the people are even becoming more and more clear about real motives for that throwdown of government. And they would want to now give the party like us, the National Alliance, the full mandate to come out and govern this country. Sit in the seats of parliament and question and sit in the seats of government and execute. And that is what we are prepared to do, to share our vision for continued sustainable development for the people of St. Martin, putting our youth first, taking care of our elderly, and of course, the recovery. The recovery is first and foremost. It wasn't on any of our agendas in 2016, but now it will have to play the forerunning, um, have a forerunning effect, a forerunning priority for any government coming in. And this government has shown that that is our priority as well. Now that you have postulated the list of hundreds, um, approximately how many persons? We have a complete list of 23. We have myself at the head and our esteemed former leader at the bottom. He has decided that he will carry the weight of the party. He will be the solid foundation on which we stand. And in between, we have young, we have senior, we have experienced, we have professional, we have grassroots. We have someone that everyone can identify with. And I believe it is important that we do that. We also have four females. I would have liked to have more females, but because there was a snap election and many of the younger ladies who are interested were preparing for 2020, that I, um, I didn't force the point with them. Many have young children, etc. And I believe family is the core of any community. So I would not try to you know, force any youngster who still has very small children to raise into this arena because it is a very busy, busy life. And um, so I'm looking forward to that. The 23 has the top vote getters um, in our top five, except of course to Mr. Marlin, who was the second highest vote getter, close up under me um, at the bottom. But we have a lot of brand new young professionals. We have um, some who have come over from other parties because they have seen the injustice that has been done to our former prime minister, to our former leader in throwing down this government and heaping the coals on his head. And they felt that as small parties, they would be ineffective in this election and would be better off joining a party with heart and soul for the people of St. Martin, which is us. So look out for the list. We'll be publishing it soon. 
and you will see exactly who our 23 are. You will get to meet them. We will publish their profiles. You will hear them on radio. You will see us out in the streets. You will meet us. And one thing the National Alliance has is even after the election, our district councils will continue on a quarterly basis to have meetings so that the general public... Hey guys, did you know that now with Telcel, if you accumulate $25 or more within one calendar month, you get 15 more? 15 more? Yes, 15 more. However you want. So I can top up $3 now, $10 next week, and so on until I reach or pass $25? That's right. Get 15 more. Wow! I feel like a 15 again. Yeah. Right. Accumulate $25 or more within one calendar month and get 15 more. Telcel, when you Want more? GEBE has been faithfully serving the communities of St. Martin, powering your home and our economy. Come rain or shine, our qualified team of professionals are working hard 24 hours a day to provide you and your family with safe, reliable electricity and water. We use the latest technologies and test our products daily to maintain the highest international standards. Our friendly staff is always there to assist you, whether in person, over the phone, or online. We are committed to constantly improving our products and services, making them more efficient, effective, and environmentally friendly to serve you better today and our next generation of clients tomorrow. GEBE, -E, powering a brighter future. Our friend Mega Wadi is here with tips to save you energy. One, turn your air code temperature up. Two, use a ceiling fan instead. Three, buy energy saving products. Save some green with NV. Good afternoon, good afternoon. Representative of the Central of uh, the U.S. Party to the Central Voting Bureau, Mr. Cecil Nicholas, as well as the Party Leader, Mr. Franz Richardson. Today's postulation day, and as for the electoral ordinance, the representative of the Party to the Central Voting Bureau is allowed to submit its list of candidates to the Central Voting Bureau. And as such, I will give you the opportunity to do so. Presented your list of candidates, recommends. Well, definitely. I think um, we have presented a list of 19 candidates. I am very much proud of the candidates that have chosen to run with the USP party this time around. I am more than excited with the young professionals that we have on board. The public of St. Martin is going to be very much, um, how would I say, really much appreciate the list that USP has presented. Um, over the years we have seen a number of candidates who have ran but never live up to the responsibility to be serious and to want to, to represent this country in the right way. I think this time USP have done a thorough job in looking at candidates who are very much serious and representing St. Martin. Seeing the time that we are going through um, after Hurricane Irma, we need young people who are committed to bringing back this country in the, in the best way possible. And I think when you take a look at the list that we are presenting, the people of St. Martin can be very much proud. What's your story uh, for the voters out there? Well, the story is the, has, the narrative has to be the rebuilding of this country but not just rebuild it, but rebuild it in a much better way. And you have the opportunity now to do the things that we have not gotten done in the past. It's not about cosmetic repairs. It's honestly, we have to fix this country, but more so we need a stable government in order to have it done. I think um, we can afford to continue in the route that we have been going over the last seven years, where you get individuals and government keep breaking up for no reason, absolutely no reason. I believe that this time around we are asking um, as USP, the public of Simantic, give us that mandate, give us that support, and we will prove to them um, that we can do the job. And I think the rebuilding of this country is the priority today. Um, there's nothing else we could talk about. We have to talk about the issues that is affecting this country. How are we going to bring back jobs in this country? How are we going to make sure that the people, the well-being of the people is taken care of? 
how are we going to make sure that um, our kids get a good education? How are we going to make sure that the university don't fall back in that situation where politics is being played, even at the university level? And those are the issues we're going to bring forward to the people of Zeman and how we intend to deal with them once and for all. You will be going to the polls, obviously, contesting the elections. Under what slogan? Well, we continue having the same slogan. We are fighting for us. We, as the U.S. people, will continue fighting for the people of this country. Uh, we will never stop. There's no way we're going to change what we stand for. We just, um, not too long, election over a year ago, we won three seats. We are looking not only for three, but we are looking to improve on those seats that we put good representation in the House of Parliament and people who people could identify and want to be part of in the next governing of this country. Finally, how soon do we see a list of your candidates? Well, the list has been given to the Electoral Council, and now we're going to publish it and give it to the, the general public. As you can see, we have done submitted, and our people will be sending it out to the media that the media could now scrutinize and look at the list. Have to get the customer being in this building. After being absent for three years, it's going to be bad. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Are we early? Miss yeah. Arundel, today's postulation day, and as such, every political party that is registered with our with the electoral council, they are um, allowed to submit a list of candidates with their uh, for in connection with the. Parliamentary election is scheduled for February 26, 2018. Now, we have duly noted that you are the representative of the PPA to the Central Voting Bureau, and as such, you are authorized to submit your list of candidates to the Central Voting Bureau. You may do so at this point. Thank you. Your list of candidates here, please. Um, we are very hopeful that the PPA will be successful at the polls on February the 26th. We want to remind the people of St. Martin why we have these elections. We have these elections because the people were not represented the way they promised two years ago, actually a year ago. The people are hurting. We have over 6,000 people and counting who are jobless, who don't have hope, who don't have trust in the body politics anymore. And the PPA want to restore that trust restore dignity in this building, this parliament building, this house of the people, and ensure to the people that we will be working for them. PPA candidates, once elected, are going to sign in and work. That is what we stand for. PPA will do everything in its power, in parliament, and in the government to ensure that those over 6,000 people that don't have a job have a future in St. Martin. We are not about giving power to the party, as we've been hearing, people rejoicing. There's nothing to rejoice about. I'm hearing that in the background. There's nothing to rejoice about. St. Martin people are hurting. And we empathize with that, and we have a plan and a great team, a great team, when people see the backgrounds of our candidates, serious, committed candidates that are going to rep represent the people of St. Martin the way it should be, the way, it, uh, sorry, the way the people deserve to be represented. As the first president of parliament, to me it will be an honor to return back into the House of Parliament. The people know how hard we've worked and the people know that we brought dignity to parliament. Dignity and decency. We're calling upon the people of St. Martin, don't stay home. If you stay home, you are voting for status quo. All that you're upset about right now, you have that power in your hands. One vote to send those people home who have not worked for you. And to close off, remember this, remember this. You are jobless and they have a well-paying job. You have the power to make sure that you put people in office who will work for you. Sign in and work. Thank you very much. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Oh, hey, Minister, what's up? Oh, hey, hey. Happy New Year, my people. Happy New Year, my people. Happy New Year. 
Is it good? Yeah, it's very good. It's a list of candidates for the central vote on the road. We have taken note of the fact that the United Democrats, that Mr. Pro Wire, you are one of the representatives to the central vote on the road. As such, you may submit your list of candidates. First and second of the UD party, um, you just postulated your list of candidates. It is a proud moment. It is even an emotional moment because when we recognize how often we spoke about the coming together, how often we spoke about uniting, and I think there was not a better time to fulfill that promise than following Hurricane Irma, when we realize the work that needs to be done. As for the election itself, we have mixed feelings. Mixed feelings because we would have liked to be able to spend the coming weeks, days and nights, working for St. Martin without the distraction of a campaign and an election. However, there is an election on February the 26th. We are participating. We are participating, united as you can see. Yes, we have a dream for St. Martin. It is one dream, and therefore, we are supporting that with one team. You can imagine, when you look at the Democratic Party, when you look at the United People's Party, that it took some soul searching to make that decision. But when it was made to unite and come together in the interest of the people of St. Martin, there's nothing that is going to take away that commitment. The people of St. Martin, they need leadership, they need vision, they need hope, especially at this time. And again, we would have loved to just go in now that there has been a change of government and do what needs to be done. But an election has been called and we are going to serve the people of St. Martin. As of the presentation of the tw 23 candidates of the United Democrats, that means work and work again for the people of St. Martin. How difficult was it for you as the leader of the UP to, to uh, form this composition with UP? Well, this has been um, as Sarah said, uh, some major discussions have gone on between both parties, from party boards uh, meeting together, from the leaders of the parties meeting together, from the candidates of the parties uh, meeting together. But there's one common goal, one common purpose, and that is the people of St. Martin. And while all parties and all the boards and everyone itself understands that the love of St. Martin is the foremost thing on all of our minds. So any differences that we would have had, which were, I think, also minuscule compared to the country itself, I think those were put aside and we all came together and said, listen, it's, it's not about uh, whether it's the UP, it's not about the DP, it is about the people of Somalia. And that's how we came up with the United Democrats. What about your slogan, MP? You know, I was thinking of something as they was talking. This is not for any one of us. This is not about coming back home, going back home. This is about building our home, St. Martin. And for that, I haven't even thought of a slogan. Truth, truthfully speaking, I haven't thought of a slogan. I didn't have the time to think of a slogan because I just want to be able to continue to do what I have been doing, and that is represent the people of St. Martin. Here at this building is where I spend the most of my waking hours. And here is where, with God's willing, I will continue to represent the people of St. Martin with their support on February 26th. That's my slogan. What's your story in being for your hybrid? What do you tell to voters now to make them comfortable in that they should vote for the party you do? Well, I will tell you that when you look at the, the, the composition of the list, you will find professionals, you will find compassionate people, and you will find people that want to work for the people. And if you look without the list, it's, within the list itself, you will see that a lot of people on that list have track records of being able to build a country. Remember some of us were there in 95, and I believe that St. Martin came out far better after 95 than what we're seeing here today. And I'll tell you something, what is going to happen now in St. Martin, the competition out there is far greater than what we had in 95, and the wants of our people are also greater um, today. So it is going to be a huge uh, uphill battle um, for parties to be able to develop and build this country, and that is why again, together, 
um, with the kind of leadership that we have between the two of us and the party members itself, behind the people that are present MPs and the past MPs and past ministers, past commissioners, we believe that we have the depth to be able to go in and build the country. It is uh, a depth from number one straight to 23. Um, all members have been able to serve in one purpose or another. And I believe that it shows you also youth in there as well to bring our country forward that, you know, we do have the farm system to be able to strengthen the party itself. And that is where the strength of the United Democrats is going to come from. People all across St. Martin are switching to a more rewarding experience. The Whip MasterCard Fun Miles Credit Card, better known as My Card. Earn one fun mile for every $2 spent, even abroad and online. This will quickly get you a ton of fun miles to redeem for travel, shopping, food, fuel, and much more. But there's more to My Card worldwide acceptance, an EMV chip for extra security, and 250 free fun miles with first use. Switch to my card today at WIB. Hey guys, did you know that now with Telcel, if you accumulate $25 or more within one calendar month, you get 15 more? 15 more? Yes, 15 more. However you want. So I can top up $3 now, $10 next week, and so on until I reach or pass $25? That's right. Get 15 more. Wow! I feel like a 15 again. Yeah. Right. Accumulate $25 or more within one calendar month and get 15 more. Tell self when you want more. It's been said that behind every door, possibility awaits. How much possibility depends on which door you open first. Every day, we help our customers discover the possibilities in their lives. It all starts with a conversation. Scotiabank, discover what's possible. One, two, three, four. This is how common it is to develop a mental illness. One out of every four. 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 Four, but there is hope. Today, most mental illnesses can be managed and treated. Visit your general doctor if you feel concerned about your thoughts and behaviors or have some difficulty dealing with some of life's issues. If you have been diagnosed and are suffering from a mental illness, keep in mind these four points to help you manage your mental health. One, get regular checkups with your general doctor. Two, stay on your treatment plan to prevent relapses. Three, find a strong support group in your family and friends. And four, never be afraid to ask for help and look for the warning signs of your illness. Remember, you are not alone. We are as close as one. Two. Three. Four. Learn about mental health illness by going to the Mental Health Foundation's website at www.mhf-sxm.com. ...with the Central Voting Bureau, Mr. Rogers. Today was for solutions. Can you give us uh, information? How did it went today? Sure. Today, Postulation Day, we started out um, basically based on the law. We have um, between nine and four political parties that are registered with Electoral Council. They are permitted to submit their list of candidates to the Central Voting Bureau. What we have done in order to have this been uh, to trans have this transpired in a very smooth and orderly manner, we have um, reached out to the political parties and asked them to choose various time slots in order to do so, which they've done. And we started today, this morning at 11 o'clock, with the first party, the SDM, and they submitted their list of candidates, followed by the St. Martin Christian Party. Then we had a National Alliance, followed by the U.S. Party. Then we had the um, PPA and then the United Democrats. 
political parties have submitted a list of candidates, and uh, we have informed them that they have uh, on Monday to have their list endorsed. Of course, political parties that have one or more seats in Parliament currently, they are exempted from, the, from that endorsement. But the, uh, in total, then, that will be two political parties that are uh, exempted, and the other four, they will need to be endorsed by 142 signatures each. And that's on Monday.